So in part two of this video, we're going to address the issue that we don't really know how many times the sound file is playing. And so we're going to take a look at how we can evaluate that and set up a program to either stop the sound file when it's done or maybe play another sound file. So let's look at the object called counter and just to review let's um let's take a look at how the the patch behaves at the moment I... so the open message opens the file the one the one starts it and then out of this outlet we when it's done playing it goes back to opening and and playing it so let's let's look at the counter object and I'm going to I'm which I did by putting down an object command 1 and then typing in counter and let's take a look at the help file so the the counter object this this metro here is a metronome type thing which allows us to spit out um, a series of numbers and so I start it to count it and I'm able to see that by connecting a, a bang message to this inlet I will be able to reset the counter and so that's how this object is going to work another object that's really good for this is called Moses because Moses parts the stream of numbers it's one of the funnier names of patches in pure data and so in this case it was created with an argument of 10 and if I input a number less than 10 it's going messages are coming out the left and once it reaches 10 it goes out the right so I'm able to evaluate what the counter is doing now I'm going to put down a number object so that I can see what's happening and and let's remember a bang object which is put bang or shift command B and I think it was this outlet let's see and I'm going to connect my the output of read SF to the counter and let's start it up there we go so we got a one two and I can reset the counter with that bang perfect so since the number start it starts counting at zero and let's say we wanted to play it seven times now let's let's say four times we'll subtract one and I'm going to do Moses three so if it's less than three keep counting goes above three I want you to I want you to reset the counter please so let's try that arrangement there so it triggered the reset again again it's going in the loop but now we actually have a handle on on what's happening so I can now actually also output the, the output of Moses I can output it to my stop function of the player one two three so that's actually I think it played it two times and then it stopped so you just have to tweak the numbers a bit to get everything right so if it just stopped what could we do to make this interesting well maybe if we had a sensor with Arduino or a different device we could have have it start when someone enters into the space play it two or three times and then stop it um, we can also create a second 
read SF player just by copying what we have here. And we'll paste it just to the right. And in the folder of the where I saved this patch, I have the WAV files. And so I'm going to just do, let's do choir three. I think it's a lower one. And let's hear what, and I'm going to actually connect it to the output two. So that should be the right speaker of my internal sound card. And let's hear that. Yeah, it's coming out the right. So that's playing and so now let's connect the output of Moses to the input of our next wave, uh, next wave file. So let's do that. So it's going to play it two times I think and then play it two times and then open up the next file. So it didn't, I forgot to reconnect the stop there. So just by dragging that cable in, I've now instructed it to stop, play the next file, and then again, we can set up the counter, another counter on this file to take control of how many times that one plays and so on. Okay, so that's, this, this is it for this video, and then in the final video, I'm going to talk a bit more about, actually it might be two more videos, I'm going to talk a bit more about the speaker setup, and what we can do about our multiple outputs, and different ways of experimenting with speakers. Okay, that's it.